as I was looking at a prepared slide of some mosquito eggs using a homemade dark field filter, dark field stop, it's just a piece of poster putty of just the right size. As I was looking at it, I noticed a lot of dust. Let me get that centered. See all those spots? When I moved around the slide, those spots stay in the same place. That tells me that that is dust somewhere in the optical path. Could be anywhere from the phone camera lens, the eyepiece inside of the microscope, which would be tougher to fix. Could be the objective, could be any surface of the condenser below the, below the slide. Could be the light source itself, which I doubt it is. But whatever it is, it's nearly in focus. I think it must be somewhere near the slide. So what I did was I cleaned off the condenser. That is the hanging lens just below the slide that focuses the light uh, into a cone. That thing can be moved up and down. I cleaned off the surfaces of him. They looked rather clean. And that did not fix anything. I could still see those pieces of dust. Then I did things like rotate the eyepieces and check if the dust rotates. And no, the dust isn't rotating. I would have to rotate the one underneath the camera lens, of course. I did that. Uh, I tried rotating the condenser. And ta-da! The dust rotates. Let me show you what I'm doing using my fingers to rotate that condenser under the slide. So yes, that tells us that the dust is on the condenser somewhere. But after cleaning the surfaces on the top and the bottom, I couldn't find the problem until I took away the slide, leaving just this dust and I've brought the dust into focus. Oh no! It's not dust. These are scratches. These are a bunch of scratches. Look at all those. I thought that I was being quite careful when cleaning the lens surface of the condenser. I was using the right lint-free tissue paper I was using Q-tips and the right technique. I thought I was being careful, but it looks like either this came to me this way, which I doubt, or I somehow got some dirt or some oil on it and cleaned it with a little bit too much force, giving it scratches. I have gotten oil on it, cross-contamination from using an oil objective where you put a drop of oil on it, or sorry, not objective, uh, oil condenser. So it could be that somehow I got dirt or dust in the oil and I used a bit of too, a bit too much force, giving it these scratches. So I'll put this back in place, get the slide back in there, bring the slide back into focus. See those little dots? Those are the largest parts of the scratches, reflecting light. That's what they were. Not dust. They were the scratches. So that was fun to discover. And sad, because there's no way that I can fix it. I made a mistake. And we'll have to live with that. What I can do is either put up with these dots on the image, or I could turn off the light source and use a flashlight to give it some top illumination. Now you still see the dots because I haven't moved the condenser down far enough. There we go. I'm using a flashlight now to illuminate from above. And hey, that's okay. That might be fun to make some images this way.
There we can see the light reflecting off the blue tack, the poster putty underneath. And you know what? I like this. So all is not lost. And this is only for the four times objective. I can switch right over to the 10 times and those scratches are far enough. Let me bring the condenser back up. There are the, you can see the scratches as their sort of image moves. And there we go. So they're far enough away that I can do this technique, this homemade dark field with a 10 times objective. And we don't see any of those problems. I can rotate the objective and they're so out of focus that I can hardly tell that they're there. All is not lost. So that is how I investigated some scratches and found that they were, sorry, I investigated some dust in the optical path and after a lot of cleaning discovered that I had made a mistake in hurting the upper surface of the condenser the bright field condenser. So I learned my lesson. There you go. Use the proper techniques, be gentle, use Q-tips, use a thousand Q-tips. Using a thousand Q-tips to clean the objectives or the lens surfaces is still worth it because a thousand Q-tips are a couple of dollars. And in terms of the environment, a hundred dollar objective is probably a lot more um, environmentally unfriendly than a thousand q-tips. So be patient, use less force, and don't make the same mistake that I did.